Oh man. First time. First time here? Uh, I was here in 2016 okay. for the Team USA scholarship. Is that a, like a configurator? That looks so cool. Can we take pictures of it? Yeah. My god. That is like art. We can't sit in it, can we? Uh, if we can find out of how to open this. <laughs> I don't know what, what level of car it is. <laughs> this thing is so cool. <laughs> this one's a legend. Yeah. That's a legendary one. Look at the doors. No, it's not a 600 LT because that opens normal. That has to be a 720 door. Those are 600 LT panels though. It's cool to see all the safety innovations. This is crazy. These paint jobs yeah, were, I think, some of the coolest yeah. cars I've ever seen on the Formula One grid. At the time, it was like, yeah, just kind of surreal. Wasn't it? Yeah. These are my favorite ones. Looks like a space shuttle. Hey, don't move into my picture. <laughs> to be honest with you, it doesn't change how long you spend. It just here you can put all sorts of different bits on so you, you focus on that now it's all about detail but and the did, do you, you see change. how small it is oh yeah is this car from brazil uh, is it because this is what i grew up watching on tv it's the quality control and inspection so for everything that's manufactured internally or bought in that's has to go through here and check Everything has a heat heat sticker on it. It's a small guy. <laughs> How small to see this? Is it Lando? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. so I take it you guys have got a lot more room. Than Way more. Yeah, this thing looks so comfortable though. Yeah. It's just way more open. Like you can just change every little piece on the car however you want. So. With that, you need hundreds of people working on each specific part. It's really cool to see everybody working together. They're like just robots here. Just everything's handmade, and like even you know the wings and everything. They're all just it's like a work of art, you know. So have you guys just been there like we just got here. Nice place. Yeah. 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 <laughs> And one of these yeah. simulated. Yeah. Uh, I've been in the Red Bull one. Red Bull in a uh, Honda in Chevrolet. Cool stuff. <laughs> it's cool video games. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can tell the amount of work that goes into them. It's, it's crazy. I feel like once I kind of want to get like two, one or two laps around around Kona right now. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with this. <laughs> I think it's like eight years. <laughs> oh my gosh! It just helps to move the air around, and then on the top one is the side fans, which go up to sort of hurricane force. Um, and just sat to sit into just doing throttles. And like, it's like this big. Is, it, is that what you're Same doing? Yeah, you've both got the same seat and the same belt, but like. I will change something that makes the car feel a bit more understeer. And then we'll tell you which one it was, mm -hmm. and then we'll tune the sensitivity to see how sensitive you can feel the car. Mm -hmm. So we'll lower it if you start getting it right multiple times. Andrew, nice to meet you, Andrew. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You're infamous now. Yeah, you know, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Um, just if you want to have a quick look at gears and stuff, but we'll also be talking you through all of it whilst you're in the car. And as I said to you guys yesterday, this is a car that uh, Oliver Turvey, one of our sim drivers, drove. So this is a reference lap piece set on the exact same car, exact same conditions. We'll go through okay. all of this 
on the radio with you whilst you're in the car? Uh, no. Would you like to see it on board? I, I know where it goes. Okay. <laughs> I've never like physically driven it in a car before. Okay. So, yeah, I guess we'll go. You good? Yeah. Welcome, Faye. Let's start the car now. Uh, Amelia, you're sitting there. Yeah, well, I can move over. It's so cool to see uh, the, trophies. the old trophies, yeah. you know, the ones that Senna held and Frost. Like, look at this one. Yeah. Chinese. It's like, imagine holding that up on the... Volume. Yeah, it's just the Lego car weighs more than the actual car. Yeah, this weighs like four tons or something. Don't quote me on that. But. <laughs> <laughs> So welcome to my garage. Yeah, <laughs> welcome to my crib. <laughs> so this is uh, my garage. Well, part of my garage. I have another garage. What do you have in the other one? More cars. More yeah, cars. so actually Pato, Pato got half these and I got the other half. <laughs> so. I'm, not a, I'm not a car, like a car, road car fanatic. I'm more of a racer. Pato's the car guy. He knows like every model of car out there. That was when we said it was the last lap. Yeah, when you said last lap, I was like, I'm going to try to make this the best. <laughs> this is a 7 this is a 17.3. Fucking That's nice. only just like turned it up. Like, really? kind of, like, the closest thing I've driven to a Formula 1 car, well, obviously was the Ripple Formula yeah. 1, but uh, the Super Formula. Okay, yeah. It's quite close. Like, yeah. I think cornering speeds. The power is a bit lower. Though. Yeah, power is a, quite a bit lower, but like just cornering speeds and everything that the car gives you like in very quick and yeah. like change of directions. It feels better. Massive, yeah. It, 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 it feels, I think the cl that's the closest someone can get to a Formula 1 car. Oh, yeah. Uh, we can look at it on the way back in front of you. These are we'll the ones. You like um, I'll come pick you guys up from here at 2. Oh, but wow. if you... Oh, yeah. If you're done early, oh. you can either go back down to the sim and wait for us in there, or I'll be down in the restaurant. Yes, yes. look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh. 720S, and that is the perf performance package. Oh my god, just oh, look at that. The 750 LT, oh, <laughs> that's gonna be great. Like, if the 720 is crazy already, imagine the 750 LT. I mean, that's gonna be like the step up from the top of the car guy to a 750 LT. How was yeah. it? How are you going? How are you, Tim? Good, Nice you? to see you. So, how did your run go? Good, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm track Barcelona. Barcelona. Oh, you're nice in Barcelona. Barcelona. How are you? Good, yourself? Good. How was the gym? Good, yeah. Yeah, you got some solid running. Yeah. Well, you try and break as late as possible, but it's like you can't break so late because the, 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 the brakes don't stop the car because of all the weight. Yeah. So like when you smash the brakes, you feel the weight, like you feel the car trying to stop the weight. 10, 12, 10, 14, especially 10, 14. But give them a go, it's 10 and 12. 2011, 2007, boom. Actually, no, that's 2011. Uh, Montreal, where's 2012 Montreal? This trophy is my it's the first ever formula one race i attended to what? i just remember like arriving to the track like five miles away and i just hear the car screams <laughs> montreal 2012 and i was just like oh my god like this is to me that is life i mean the cars for me are everything but being to your first f1 grand prix that's what i i completely fell in love and i said i want to do that when i'm older Yes, so cool. Into, uh, 